Hello, this is Tim, and I recently had a small feature in the uh, most recent video from the Quake Speedruns Explained channel, which you can see here. So um, this uh, video explains the lightning gun bug, which has become a staple of uh, some Quake Speedruns. Um, but I just wanted to give you a bit of um, uh, background on my involvement of this topic. Um, so yeah, I'll just briefly show you a bit here. here we in go. 2002, Tim Doherty noticed something odd. He was two hours into a marathon 100% run through the full game, and he was on the home stretch, the final map in Quake. While taking out this shambler with the lightning gun, he heard an ominous sound, a vor being damaged to his side. As he reached the end of the map, he realised that he still had one kill missing. He wandered around, chasing this final war, but it was nowhere to be found. Two hours of nail-biting combat through the entire game, only to fail at the absolute last possible moment. He had every right to be disappointed, but if it was any consolation, it turned out that this demo helped to spark a speedrunning revolution. So there we go, that was a, a little section, as you see, this this whole video is 15 minutes long. Um, uh, yeah, the the channel um the guy the guy who runs it um Connor Fitzgerald he's a very accomplished uh, Quake speedrunner he makes some uh, awesome videos as you see this last one here has just really taken off um so he, if you haven't already get, you should go um, check him out after this but um uh, yeah Connor uh, contacted me while he was uh, working on this video um as um another uh, uh, guy Stubby who's another great Quake speedrunner um, had told Connor. Um, he got the idea to work on um, the lightning gun bug for improvements while he was uh, speaking to me um, back then and basically um, kind of wondered if I could fill in some gaps and if I still had the demo at the time. So um, while this um, that incident um, happened actually 21 years ago this month, it was one of those kind of things that stuck in my memory. Um, even if it turned out some of the details um, that I... I didn't actually recall correctly. Um, one of the big things was that I thought it was um, the end of a nightmare 100% uh, demo, but it was actually, and I, th I thought it was over two hours, but it was actually on easy difficulty. Um, so I've been going about an hour at this point. But I guess um, let's just, uh, I'm going to actually jump in the game and we'll play back the actual video and I'll just talk through a few things. So let's just do this. There we go. This was the actual one from a 21 year uh, ago demo, but um, the good thing about demos is you can play it back in the client. Here we go. So, um, just to set the scene, this was kind of in the early 2000s, and I was a big Quake fan with quite some time to play um, back in my underground undergraduate university days. And I've, um, I'd submitted a few demos to the Speed Demos Archive at this point, but this is back when they only did Quake. And uh, the rules at the time were you could only submit a demo if you beat the record. So the concept, uh, the concept of a leaderboard that we sort of see at, uh, at speedrun.com, um, which appears to have started in 2014, wasn't actually a thing. But anyway, I wanted to play and just sort of see what my best was I could do in um, many categories, even if um, with my limited skill set I had no chance of actually breaking a record and being able to submit it. But anyway, out, out of boredom, um, I created a bit of a website, kind of a bit, a bit of a blog, and it can only be found on the Wayback Machine now. So I called it Marge, or kind of Marathons for Regular Joes. Now, um, at this point in time, I was mainly interested in multi-level runs. So that's, you know, either full episodes, the full game, expansion packs, or custom episodes. So not, not so much individual levels. And um, so this started around late 2001, and it wasn't really used too much by other people. A few people submitted some um, demos to me. But anyway, anyway, it was mainly, as I said, a mainly bit of a blog for tracking and improving my personal best times. So a bit of a, a niche within a niche. But anyway, this is bringing us to uh, June 2002. So by this time, the record for this um, this category, the easy 100% all of Quake, has been set uh, first by Justin Fleck in um, September 1999 at six, well, one hour, uh, one minute and 11 seconds. But that was quickly improved by Marlo Galinsky to 54 minutes and 6 seconds. Now, I wasn't going to beat this record, but um, playing on easy skill is, is quite, a, quite a bit less stressful, but it's still a challenging and rewarding thing to do. So anyway, I got to playing. 
I managed to get a time of 71 minutes and 40 seconds, 47 seconds. So that was over 10 minutes slower than Justin's obsolete record. But I did, I did try it again at some point and I got a time of 65 minutes and 57 seconds. But anyway, taking minutes off a personal best is always a good feeling. And that now leads us to where the demo where things went wrong and ended up in Connor's video. So um, now there's one thing we're coming up to here, which is, um, you know, the, the Vore's been hurt, it's wandering around. But it's going to teleport in soon for some reason. Who knows why. But um, so what actually happens here, um, I'm going to teleport in the, the boss die. Oh, sorry, I, I, I telefrag the monster here. The Vore's going to come in and die. And um, we can actually see if I press uh, tab here. You see it says uh, total time, it actually says 64 minutes and 16 seconds. So this was actually my PB and I'd, I'd actually given up hope. But um, we'll see soon that this last uh, Vore is going to fall over and die. So um, yeah, actually this, at that time that was my PB but I've, um, I don't think I've got the rest of the, um, the things there. So yeah, um, yeah I, d I don't know why I didn't actually update my um, the old Marge website at the time but... Um, Oh yeah, it's was, was pretty slack as you're going to see soon. Um, yeah, so I just I just thought I'd wanted to, uh, sh yeah, just I guess give a bit more perspective. I guess on Connor's video, of course, he had a, um, I had a small part um, in that, but um, there we go. So as I said, level 36 in the recording. So that was yeah, the whole game, just slightly over an hour. I said I'll just go back here. So as I, as I was mentioning some of these things, I've got a few things here. So. Here's basically on uh, the Speed Demos archive for the Quake sections, as I mentioned. This is the first one here, set in 1999 by Justin, improved uh, by Marlow. So at the, at the time I recorded this, this was the record. And as you see, it's been later improved several times. Um, some uh, great things here. And um, keep in mind, as you said, to, to get in here, you have to beat it by a full second. Whereas, as you see over on uh, speedrun.com, um, you know, you can submit anything and, uh, you know, get yourself um, in there. So uh, I, th I think, um, yeah, I'd, I'd like to uh, record a new one and uh, get in here even if I'm ranked seventh. It'll be nice. This is as, this is just sort of showing the um, obsolete runs as well. As we see up the top, uh, jukebox uh, number one here. Um, yeah, and um, one, um, yeah, this is briefly um, <laughs> my little page random um, from my old website from the Wayback Machine but one of these things here I sort of mentioned and here we go this is actually in June 2002 um, it's talking about the well, I said easy hundred all of quake so this is basically when I was sort of working on it and I don't know why I didn't mention that but anyway um, one other thing that's probably worth mentioning is um, Thomas or Stubby he actually won what's called a Nolan Award in 2002 for it says the lightning gun kills through wall bug so I thought that's a, a nice little thing that was uh, worth mentioning anyway. Um, yes, yeah, so I just thought I'd uh, just like to sort of... Uh, I've had a few random people that um, said, uh, you know, Connor's channel's really sort of uh, blowing up and great to see that. And I've had a few people sort of, um, I guess, recognise the name and reach out to me on Discord and things. So I just thought it'd be nice to uh, share a bit more uh, of that, that side of the story. Um, but yeah. As I said, uh, if you haven't, yeah, go, go uh, subscribe and watch us uh, watch these videos. There's some great stuff here. Um, yeah, sort of my little kind of second bit of, uh, I guess you could call it a moment of fame outside uh, Quake speedrunning. Um, the other one was uh, there's this one by Easyscape. This was the uh, top ten longest standing records. This was actually um, one, one thing at the time. Um, this was actually based on some stuff on the speedrun.com. There was actually older ones, but they he didn't know about that. And uh, just just so you know, these were beaten by uh, Mr. Flick. That's that's fine. So this was a uh, thing at the time, but uh, yeah. Anyway, as I said, um, a bit a bit of um, just yeah, just it's, it's just funny how the things work. They're just a bit of a a casual a casual run, getting ending in frustration. Ending up having a bit of a rant online, and you know, 21 years later, it's uh, getting mentioned in a video and people talking to me about it. So it's a bit of a <laughs> funny thing how the world works sometimes. But um, yeah, um, 
uh, I'll be looking to uh, hopefully get some um, uh, some more Quake videos on my channel at some point. But um, yeah, thanks for watching, and um, we'll uh, thanks. I say thanks for watching, and we'll see you in another one. All right, see ya. Right, bye.